Okay, friends, um, this video is going to annoy a lot of people. But you know what? I personally, I, I friends, I, I can't live, I can't live in a lie. And I can't live in hearsay. So this is some of the stuff that I saw four years ago on YouTube that was the catalyst for me to start a YouTube channel. Straight goods, okay? There was a bunch of other stuff too. I just basically wanted to, to, to share with my kids and my family and, and, and their kids. That was the main run. But when I started seeing this stuff, people saying uh, uh, that all your teeth, you know, getting out micrometers and, and, and saying that all your power saw teeth, your chain have to be exactly the same size and your rig, and, and, or it's gonna cut on an angle. If you're cutting on an angle, your teeth, got they're the wrong size. That's your problem. Friends, I'm about to probably angry many, many people who have made videos like this. But friends, if you're one of the folks that have made this video and said that that if, if all your teeth are the wrong size or your teeth have to be the exact same size or you're going to be cutting on an angle and you're going to have problems, you might want not want to watch this video because you're not going to like it. You might not like me, but I'm okay with that because I like me because I live in truth. And I can't tell people stories that I don't know about. Notice, I do a channel about stuff I know about. Power saws, wood, you know, logging, falling trees, climbing trees, rigging trees. That's what I know about. So that's what I talk to you guys about. Check it out. Well, how's everybody doing? We, we're back out in the old shop. I had some, I had some folks, uh, saying they were kind of reminiscent about about the old shop here and that, that makes me feel good thanks thanks guys um, yeah this is this is this is where it was friends this is where it started for me uh, in here you know uh, I don't I don't have I never had a shop I've, I've never had a shop this is my carport shop so when I would come home from Fallen, we this is the first house we ever bought. And I'd come in after Fallen, tuck my tuck my power saws in there, and then I'd come over here, right here, and this is where I would grind all my bars and and, and get out my grinder, right? And 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 get my power saws ready for the next day, you see? And then in here. This came later too. This this was just an open carport completely. This was just, the truck would sit in here. This came later, me and the guys built this room. Some guys I had working with me, for me and with me. So we, we put, put this little room in so that I could get my saws. I started collecting a bit and I wanted to get them out. So so when Don Snow and some of the other fellas, they, when I do videos in this in this room, there's my tarp. The tarp is still there. I, I would in the winter time I started building axes I would roll down it was freezing cold friends freezing cold and when you work with steel in your with your hands it becomes twice as cold your hands go numb we've all had cold hands we know what that's like well I I, I started building axes here right here here's my lights and everything and, and this is where it was and you guys would look here that's the view you guys would see like that you see so you would see all that if you go back for videos you will see that right behind you right now probably without a few things without the power saws and this and that but uh and then i built my bench over there remember friends when i built that bench and then i had another bench and i could work and then everything changed and i was so excited about having a different view for you guys remember i was like yeah check it out <laughs> and i freaking had scarves on me tj and timber you guys are probably like way older now TJ and Timber's blankets. Remember, friends, when I when TJ and Timber sent me their, you guys started sending me things, and oh, it, it, it's such a neat journey, friends. It truly is. And for people to say they, they get kind of nostalgic when they see this shop. That means a lot to me, friends. That means you've been here a while, and 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 that means a lot to me. It really does. I thank you all so much. A little bit of a sentimental uh, film today. I know, I know, <laughs> I know, <laughs> oh, oh, 
Hey, <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, you know, just, you know, just, yeah, sax, 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 just fixing her up, making sure it's all, whoo, something in my eye there. Ben, yeah, just uh, chipping up your axe for you, bud. Um, just kind of doing a couple finishes, things, things there, you know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, good. Yeah, okay. Shipping her up. Over and out. This is a cool, this is more continuing along the filing uh, program. Um, I, I've got to, I've got to beat this into the ground, this one, friends. I got to beat it up. Um, it's the thing about so many people saying you got to have your, your teeth the exact same size. There was even a comment on my, my, uh, on my channel, a guy says you got to have your teeth the same size and angle, all that. And I just, I, I didn't say anything, and I'm not going to. I'm not that guy. Uh, but it's not true. It's just not true. Uh, this particular chain, what I'm going to choose to do is the right side. You'll notice it. I'll show it to you all the way through. The the right. See this one here. You can see it. Well, I, I should get the eye in the sky out, but you can see that. We don't need to get right up close. It is quite a bit smaller than this one and that one. And see, this one's been rocked. This side's not bad. The left side of the chain is pretty good. And it is, it is, um, it's bigger than this. See? It, the, these are a little smaller, friends, okay? So what I'm going to do, you guessed it. I'm going to wipe that side of the chain out. I'm going to, I'm going to make it really small. I'm just going to hit it. I'm just going to, you got to do it. You're right. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to grind it down. So I'm going to grab a file right now. I think I got one ready to go. It's probably not that bad. So my plan is, friends, my plan is, I hope that light's not bugging you guys. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. I could move it over if need be. I, I could actually move this to here. There. Actually, that's that's actually awesome, friends. Is not is that better for you guys? Because it's kind of over top. Is that good? I think it is. Puts me right over top of my saw here too so what we're going to do i'm going to get that phone out of there for starters because it bugs me oh there's donnie walker so friends i'm fixing my throttle cable on my uh 394 was not getting full throttle it wasn't <laughs> so i'm gonna have to do it again i got it fixed now but it was a bugger it's finicky in there and all around and i've never done that well i did one tonight but i had my buddy donnie walker in my back pocket let's all thank donnie walker that's bobby walker's boy he gave us a hand friends today Donnie, let's get him. I'm trying to get him over here to do a video with us, friends. Donnie, you get over here. He says, good job, you're hired, he says to me. <laughs> Thanks, Donnie. Okay, let's get this text off, friends. Thanks, Donnie. <laughs> okay, well, that's Donnie Walker. And he's good on camera, friends. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to totally crack this and get my glasses on. And... I hope you're enjoying the videos I'm sending out recently. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna take this down, way down. It's gonna take a while, but I'm gonna do it, and you're not gonna sit here and watch me do it. There's no point, that's silly. You guys can be doing something else. But I'm gonna make this way smaller, like way smaller. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Check it out. I'm already eating a ton of it up. <laughs> that should be good right there. Let's see what we got for a hook. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. Okay. See that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Take a look at this. <laughs> look at it. Yes, I'm. Me likey. Mm -hmm. By doing one side small and the other side. But I mean, what, what the consensus is out there is if your teeth are all different sizes, it's going to pull. That is untrue. Because if they're all different sizes, then it's just going to cut through the, through the log. It may chatter a little bit if you don't have a raker gauge on it, but if you put a raker gauge on it, it's going to smooth it right out. I'm going to find out right now. So I'm going to do this whole side, friends. I'm going to do it because I'm that kind of guy. I'm not, I'm not living on, uh, 
on what ifs. It's not happening. I'm just put this under here so you guys can get a little better view of what I'm doing. Right there. There we go. Okay, so the first tooth is done. I'm just going to take them right down. It's skip tooth. There's no sense in doing full house. I'll be here till 4 in the morning. It was 4 in the morning. And I woke up in a cold, cold sweat. Fountain foo bow. Foo bow bow. I couldn't do another day at that job I had to get. So I got up out, out of my bed. Got down on my knees and leveled my head. I don't know what I said or who was on the other end. All that I can tell you is this light up around the bend, up around the bend, people. Me and Mama Color, that's all right. Me and Mama Color, gonna get it right. Me and Mama Color. So I went downtown with my lady at yeah, my side, bumping for, 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 for. She looked at me and said, "Baby, I'm heading inside." This is very interesting for folks. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people that don't like this video. And that's everybody who made a video saying your teeth have got to be all the same size. Here we go. Behold the truth. Can you guys see the teeth? What's going on? The right side's basically right. The right side's basically right to the line and the other's a half. A, there's a half a tooth to the line and the other's a half. A, there's a half a tooth on the left side of the chain and there's like right to the freaking line on the right side all the way friends all the way the whole chain <laughs> to let you folks know what I'm doing just to give you a little preview where's our first chain oh my oh good okay there's there's the one there sorry friends this is on the right side of the chain this little guy here he's pretty short really short matter of fact teeny and then on the other side oh look at that wow we got almost a full a full chain almost. That's pretty near full, like maybe a filing or two. And then the next side, oh, 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 I see. Okay, I see what you're doing, Bucking. Ah, okay, there's the other side. Oh, and there's, oh, so that's not going to work, is it? We'll find out. Back at it. Yeah, there we go. Now she's sitting in there. It was wobbling a bit on me. You gotta have the chain tight in there. Look at that, friends. It's gotta be tight. Okay, these these teeth are half the size as the other side. They just are, and I'm laying the boat to it because I'm gonna crack this thing down fast. So I have my own little techniques. If I wanna pull pull meat out, I just I do a couple things that gets it fast. See? There we go. This this sharp's been chain or this chain's been sharp already. I'm just getting rid of this teeth, this meat. Look at this. This chain's almost. This side's almost brand new, but I'm just wiping it out. There we go. Yeah, that will disappear. I tried to get the eye in the sky on there for you, but it was uh, too precarious. I'd be knocking it over and that. I don't want to do that. Okay, so you see how my 
my stroke settles down when I start getting getting to the point where I want to actually sharpen it. This this here can be all crazy right now. I could go like this, grab the gullet real quick on a downstroke. See that? And then then just I can actually go up now if I wanted. It's crazy. That's why you don't want to change so often. So you want to find some a stroke that will take it all. That's why I do the boat because you're never pulling a ton of meat off of one spot. It's always just kind of going. There it is there. See, it's found its groove now. The boat, I love the boat. Okay, now we straighten out. There we go. We're over on the right side now, friends. And we're just getting this side sharp. It, it wasn't as bad which is kind of nice because I can just get it, bring it back to life. Okay, so this is very interesting. Let, let's take a look at what I've done. You, you can see it's quite obvious what I've done. Take a look. Left side, right side. Let's do this, let's not horse around. Let's go eye in the sky. Right side left side and you know what friends the lights better now left side right side right side that's where the chain doubles up left side right side left side there you go okay this side one two three there you go done this side one two three Whoops, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're talking good strokes. Right side. Look at that one. It's almost gone. <laughs> Look at the <it>, friends. <laughs> close to the to the to the line because I wanted you friends to see that there you can't you can't discrepancy that there, you, there's there's no scrutiny you're not allowed to scrutinize that <laughs> friends that it cut straight and smooth <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay. Right smooth. Can you can you see that cut? Look at from the top to the bottom, look how slender it is. I did that on purpose to show you. That's 30 freaking inches of wood. That's a quarter inch cut on the Friends, I'm just telling you, I, I it was hard for me to watch those videos and not comment on them. Okay, I, I just look at look at that. Can you can you see that cut? Look at from the top to the bottom, look how slender it is. I did that on purpose to show you. That's 30 freaking inches of wood. It's a quarter inch cut on the outside log all the way straight as a bone. So I get passionate about this stuff, friends, because I don't like hearsay. I don't like it at all. And I don't like people teaching people stuff that they don't know what they're talking about because they're going to be running out there and sitting on their, their bench and on their vice wasting their life away when they could be out in the freaking woods or out in their yard cutting logs and getting their firewood in their woodshed instead of doctoring their saw up on the bench wasting hours of their life away. I'm dead serious about it. That's what gets me angry. I'm heated about it. That's life. That's how I get when I know about something. It's called justified. Isn't it? So here we go in some hard oak. This is the deal. There's going to be a lot of people that don't like this video. It's because they're proven wrong. And what they're saying is malarkey. 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 Over and out. Over and out. So, this has been bothering me for about, I did a video, a little, Victor tried, he, he Victor, shouldn't say tried, Victor did one actually. He did one and he put it up. I saw it, but I thought I needed to back him up on that one, okay? And I just backed him up. Friends, filing your power saw is not a freaking science project. It's not a science project. You should be out in the wood, not on the bench with a freaking micrometer. Get yourself a raker. I'm heated a little bit right now. I get like this. I get passionate around this stuff. Because I, it, could you imagine what I went through before I had my channel going and I started to look at videos and I was watching, I was just going, I didn't comment. I didn't do it. I'm not that kind of person. You guys know I'm not. I won't do it. I won't, I won't do it. I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll go away. But <laughs> I think I've said enough. I think I've said enough. Do you want to see the chain again? You don't need to, do you? No. I just, I, I, I can't take it. I, I, I can't take that kind of stuff. Especially in this industry, friends, filing a power saw? People, I left my uh, eye in the sky up at the house. And... Friends, look at this cut. 
Look, look at that cut. Look where I started. Please share this video. Friends, share this with your friends. Oops. Share this with your friends and family. Okay? I've heard too many people saying that all their teeth need to be the same size and if their if their chain is if their teeth are the wrong size here and there they're going to be cutting on an angle and that's the reason they are cutting on an angle. Uh, it is absolutely not the reason you're cut. It it could be the reason if you don't use a raker gauge. It's all, it's all about getting the raker gauge on your teeth, friends. Don't worry about stroking one chain, one, two, three hundred times and the other one three times. Don't worry about it. I'm exaggerating, obviously. I get a little passionate about this part because I want to help people cut wood and get out in the woods and get in the freaking wood and learn how to run a power saw, not sit around on a bench with a micrometer measuring their teeth. Friends, it is a waste of time. I gotta, I gotta stop because I've, I've said enough. I'm trying to convey a point here and I think I've done it. Thank you for watching my videos, friends. Share this. Share this freaking video. He's a wood man! You saw it from beginning to end. I sharpened the chain in the vice. I just, friends, a chain cuts faster as it gets back. And that's when everybody throws their chains away. It drives me nuts. That's when a chain cuts fast, when it's about in between half and, and gone. Over and out. I don't like hearsay. I don't like it at all. Right side. Look at that one. It's almost gone. <laughs> Look at the <it>, friends. <laughs> Mr. Wart. Mr. Wart. <laughs> I just cleaned up the tip. Look at the fat, how, how much wedge I got into it. Look at the size of the wedge, right? Look at how fat the wedge is in there. Cool. Here's some more firewood here. See the flick is the way to not get stuck. Sean work. Look at it. Look at that sucker. <laughs> it's got you written all over it, buddy. It's a neat axe actually, buddy, and a good handle. Really good. I think it's on a 45 degree angle. I like 45. Kind of like a mutt dog. A Heinz 57 doesn't really know what to do. <laughs> it's true, friends. Think about it. Oh, I love it. Okay, Sean. On to your boys, buddy. Hey, Over and out, bud. Thank you. One, two, three. There we go. That's done. This side. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. One, two, three. This thing's hardly even needed it, that side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So uh, watch this, friends. I'm gonna show you guys something. You, you guys know this, but I'm showing it to you anyway, because I'm pretty happy about our, look it. As a matter of fact, look it. The rakers have hardly been touched on this. Check that out. Okay? Look at the raker. I want you to look at the raker right now. So we've got a nice hook on that little chain. I'll try and get still, friends. Sorry about that. See the raker? Watch what's going to happen. I'll just leave you guys in there for a second. Just hang tight. Okay? Here's that same raker I just showed you two seconds ago. Sorry. There it is. Look at it. It's 
damn near cut in half. You know what we're doing. They're proven wrong, and what they're saying is malarkey. <laughs>